Receiving the BMI Icon Award is is absolutely such an honor and and quite honestly insane. And I remember going to the BMI dinner probably 20 years ago when they gave it to John Williams, who was my all time idol. And I used to sit on a blanket uh, at the Boston Pops when I was probably eight, watching him win for things like E.T. and or watching him conduct things like E.T. and and uh, Indiana Jones and Star Wars. So so that's kind of uh, in insanely surreal. But BMI has been so integral to my entire career and um, and has been supporting me along the the entire journey that I've been on, uh, introducing me to my mentors like Basil Polidorus and Michael Kamen, um, supporting me at film festivals and, and, and all my work. So it's been really amazing to have their support all along the way, but to have this kind of an honor uh, that I get to receive from them has, is truly sort of the culmination of our relationship. And, uh, and I'm so excited about it and, and, and so humbled to be a part of BMI. So I first got involved uh, in making music probably when I was about eight or nine uh, playing the trumpet. Um, my grandfather was a, uh, a singer, a crooner, jazz crooner. Uh, as a hobby, originally uh, he, he wanted to do that as a career, made two albums in Boston. And, um, and so he was always listening to Sinatra and Tony Bennett and all of that kind of stuff. So I started on trumpet. Um, but then uh, the big day came in 1984 when I heard the uh, the intro guitar solo for Hot for Teacher uh, by Van Halen, and uh, I went out and I bought a Sears guitar and started to practice really really hard, and and that sort of led to led to everything. I started writing songs and 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 learning more and taking theory classes. But really, it was that day that everything changed for me. And I heard that that record, and I said, you know, I want to do music for a living. So my process in, in scoring a movie really starts with, with storytelling and it starts by finding out what the director uh, or producers want their audience to feel, what journey they want to go on. Um, and then it really has to do with finding finding themes that feel like they're coming from inside the characters. So when a character has a certain you know, uh, want or desire or, or, or arc of their character, it's kind of coming through these, these themes. And then I really go on a journey with that director or with those producers um, on a show and and bring them in, in as collaborators to find the perfect musicians, the perfect uh, instrumentation, you know, often going on journeys to, to, to whether it be different countries or, or in the case of the boys to, you know, junkyards or, or, or broken music repair shops to find what it is that will tell that story musically for their characters. And then we we go through the process of I, I write cues and and show them and and really tailor them uh, so it tells the story that they want to tell because I'm the one who speaks the, speaks the musical language, um, but at the end of the day I'm helping to tell their story. I'm really part of that storytelling team. Um, and then you know at, at the end it comes to the my favorite part, which is you know hearing it all come to life with the you know amazing musicians and. And, and soloists and, and, and people who bring their passion and their uh, instrumental voices to my process. Um, you know, and that's really like the, the icing on the cake. It's the treat at the end where I get to really hear it come, come to fruition by people who are the absolute best at what they do. Um, you know, and that's, that's the process on every single one and it, it's really a joy. Mm -hmm. 